All right. Her passive gives her splinters of wrath every time she damages the enemy champion with two abilities within four seconds, levels up, and when she kills a siege minion slash super minion. When she collects the splinters, she gets mana, and every time she reaches a certain number of splinters, her abilities will enhance. When she collects 120 splinters, she gets bonus ability power. Her Q lets her summon a dark sphere after a brief delay that explodes and deals AoE magic damage to all nearby enemies and will sit on the ground for a few seconds. When she collects 40 splinters, she can store up to two of these spheres. Her W lets her grab a nearby dark sphere and lets her hold on to it for up to five seconds. She can also recast the move to hurl the sphere and when it lands, it'll deal AoE magic damage and slow all enemies it hits for a second and a half. When she collects 60 splinters, this move will deal bonus true damage. Syndra can also pick up and throw minions and non-epic monsters as well. Her E shoots out a force wave that deals magic damage and knocks back any enemies it hits. She can push back dark spheres as well, and if they collide with an enemy, they will stun them for a little more than a second and also deal magic damage to them. When Syndra gets 80 splinters, this move becomes wider and will also hit enemies with a major slow for a little more than a second. And her ult has a passive that gives her cooldown on her Q for every level she puts into her ultimate, as well as an active that lets her shoot three dark spheres at a single enemy champ and deal magic damage to them. She will always launch three, but she can grab up to four more spears that are currently on the ground and launch those at the enemy as well for even more magic damage. When she collects a hundred splinters, this move will execute the enemy champ if they are below 15% health. Cool, bye.